I did it. it I pressed the button, a thing happened. <laughs> Congratulations. Hello! What are we doing today? Yeah? It is my birthday and it is my mum's birthday so we are going to um, mum's house and we're gonna get takeaway. But right now, you can hear me in the back, um, right now we are taking a little madam to a forest and then she can roam around and cry. Cry <laughs> apparently. She doesn't like it. Luna! Do you? Are you okay back there Luna? You don't like the car. The way is it like halfway, so she's unsure. Ta -da! We are now in the woods with little Doug. We're down there. <laughs> it's the first time we've ever brought her. We come here like ages ago to get firewood. It's kind of creepy though because it's like there's no one around. <laughs> she's gonna see a weird figure in the uh, trees at some point. You're gonna see the butcher. The butcher. We've watched a bit of the new American Horror Story. Roanoke? Is that it? Roanoke? Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I kind of don't like how it's filmed. It's a bit shit. This camera is not focusing. Hello. Has been dropped a couple of times. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> okay, so we're on the way to Mum's, which is good because that means Chinese food. I'm excited, or so the radio is on. We get copyrighted or some crap. Ah, so hungry. Seeing as YouTube is being an absolute ass lately. Oh. <laughs> we're going to go Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, boy. I'm so excited. Can't wait. So Luna is currently at Mum and Dad's. And they bought her a little bed. <laughs> it's really cute. And then she's got a new little toy, isn't she? Yeah. She's got a little bacon. Um, bacon flavoured thing. toy. Yeah. She seems to like it, I think. She's sound asleep at the moment in her bed. She's so cute. She's going to be really confused when she sees her. Yeah. To be fair, she'll probably smell the food and just be like, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> now, as you can probably tell, someone didn't take off their makeup last night. <laughs> literally we got home last night from my parents and i was just so tired i just wanted to go to bed we ended up going to bed at half past 10 in the evening like i never go to sleep that early like it's always usually like i don't know like 12 <laughs> something like that i keep saying like a lot i need to stop i haven't really uploaded anything on youtube in forever Mainly because I don't really like how YouTube is changing. It's part of the reason why I've been focusing more on my blog um, rather than my YouTube because, I don't know. My blog I've got so much more of a response, which I'm a lot happier with. And YouTube is a little bit hit and miss. Like, unless you're already well known, you can't really get too far. At least that's how I feel about it anyway. I don't know if that's the same for everyone. So now I've got last night's makeup off my face. <laughs> we can carry on getting ready. So this is today's outfit. I'm talking to my camera. So yeah, this is the jumper that I was on about. And it's got like little lattice things down the side. I think it's really cool. And Toby's crying. It kind of looks grey though in this light. Also, excuse the mess that is everywhere. Um, we just got these shelves and we're like putting stuff on there, but it's like got really messy. So yes, we're going to be taking Luna on her walk now. Um, and the field we're going to is literally beyond those trees so it's not actually too far from where we live we're quite lucky with that so we're going to be taking Luna on a walk and then we're going to bring her back hopefully she should sleep and then we're going to pop into town um I don't think I'll vlog that though like going into town because I'm not too comfortable with um I don't know talking to the camera in public public I'm okay with doing it like in a field where hardly anyone's going to be like that doesn't bother me but like in a busy place mm. I'm not about that lifestyle. Hello. Hi. 
How's it going? Hello. <laughs> it's like, where have you been? Yeah, so Toby did all these decorations for me. And you've got like little happy birthday banners. Oh, I'm falling over stuff. Toby's going to do an outfit of the day for me, aren't you? He is. He's going to do it. It's almost time to get this coat out. Like... Oh, the big fluffy one. Yeah. <sighs> Too far, I've nicked that coat so many times. Yeah. <laughs> but now I've got this one, I love it. This is the little park that we come to and we always walk. Huh? Um, if you watch my live streams, you probably would have already seen it. And she does actually have her own Instagram now. Um, I'll leave that down below as well. And then you can follow the little puppy and see what she gets up to. And you can see how tiny she was as well. Because I was meaning to actually vlog when we picked her up, but I just didn't. Because <laughs> I was a little bit just too excited because we had a puppy. It's like a woman down here. I don't know what she's doing. I'm just gonna. She just stood there. Like. Oh, it's not fixing. What could she possibly be doing? So she just stood there. She said, oh my god, what is happening? So this one is. Uh, we got her from, from a little farm. And she is called Luna. And she's pretty. Lucky. <laughs> so, my coat is from a standing masterpiece. Come on! Um, my jumper is what um, my friend Lou bought me. And it's really cool. I like it. Um, jeans are just from Primark. And my boots. I've got my boots. Get my boots. <laughs> And these ones are from. Should this we get language. a zoom in? Just play boots. That <laughs> woman yeah. is still stood there. Do you want to know something funny? I wasn't recording. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go to pets at home. I wonder if home sets have any more Halloween y stuff. <laughs> Halloween stuff is amazing. Okay, we're going into our housing estate now. I'm going to stop vlogging. Bye! Okay, so we're back from pets at home and we got some stuff. Sure. We're still in the field and Luna's pooping. Yay. <laughs> but we also got her a little harness. Haven't we? So now you won't be pulling on your little neck anymore. We also got her a little jacket thing. So when it rains, because she turns into a diva when, uh, when it's raining, and then she moans because she wants to go out, but she won't go out because it's raining. <laughs> I'm such a sassy dog. This is what happens when we try and get her. Today would be nice. It's like, oh, you're playing. Hi. So I didn't actually end the vlog properly. So yeah, so because this video kind of ends abruptly, I think the last clip is just Luna running around like a lunatic. Um, I thought, seeing as I have been doing quite a bit of shopping this um, week, I may as well just pop it all in as a little bonus Cool. I'll start with the bits I got today, um, which were a few makeup bits. I went into boots, because um, I forgot completely that they do double points event in your birthday month. So I went a little crazy, kind of, just, just a little bit, mainly on one thing. And that one thing is the L'Oreal face masks. I now have the complete collection. And I'm kind of happy about it. <laughs> this one is the Pure Clay Bright Mask, which is like the yellow one. I don't know how well you can actually see it. I don't really know what your zoo lemon is. I kind of want to open it and smell it. If I can get into it. These packages are always so difficult to actually get into. I found that these shelves are actually perfect height to just sit in here and like record. And so I like that. Okay, so little yellow mask spoilers oh it kind of smells like lemongrass Ooh, I really <laughs> I really want to just pop on a face mask that one was called the bright mask then this one is the purity mask so it's meant to purify and mattify now I couldn't remember if this was the one that I actually got or not 
Do we just go get my other ones? Let me just make sure. Okay, it wasn't the same as what I got, so that's good. Um, the other one that I do have is the detox one, which is just like a, I think this one was a charcoal mask. So it just looks like that. Okay, this is gonna sound like a really weird way to describe the smell of this, but Toby's an engineer. He often comes home smelling like metal. Like, if you have someone in your household who works in engineering and usually has that sort of like oily, metally smell, that's kind of what this smells like, but I like that. So I don't know if that would be for everyone. Um, but this one is to detoxify and clarify your skin. Then the other one I've got is the Glow Mask. I don't like the smell of this one. To me, it smells like... I don't, I don't know, <laughs> it just, ugh. it kind of looks funny when you have it on, oh no, I've just got it up the side, um, because it looks like you have sunburn, <laughs> so this one was the um, Purity Mask, I may as well just open all of these now, it's like a weird unboxing, watch me unwrap my face mask, <laughs> I would imagine this would smell like cucumber, but I don't know, ooh, creamy, Oh, okay, I'm not sure about that smell. And the last one I got is blue. <laughs> I honestly hope I look like a Smurf because <laughs> it'd just be hilarious. This one is a um, blemish rescue mask and it's meant to just basically help your skin if you have blemishes. My skin isn't really too bad, but recently it's just been freaking out like no one tomorrow and it's just, <sighs> it's just frustrating. Okay, I love how all these masks have like a. I keep on changing how I pronounce mask and mask. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, I like how they all have these little stoppers at the top, so it stops them from getting everywhere. Ooh, very blue. Okay, that one actually smells quite pleasant. It kind of looks like a pot of paint. <laughs> the boring bits are just makeup, really. Um. So this is the foundation that I use all the time. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour uh, foundation. This is in the shade um, 015, which is porcelain. I am a really weird skin like color slash tone. Um, I'm pale, but I'm quite pink because I get like quite rosy cheeks. This foundation has been like one of the only things to actually hide my pinkness as well as be like a good shade for me. It is a smidgen too light, so I do have to mix it in with my Max Factor foundation. In Boots today, they did have a free for two offer, so I did get two extra little bits because why not? <laughs> um, so the first thing is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Primer. I didn't set out to even want to try this. This was just because three for two so may as well the only thing that i did want really other thing that i did want was this um powder which is the um infallible 24 hour matte powder but i'm pretty sure someone's opened this because it didn't have the little sticky seal thing but it hasn't been used or anything so now the thing that i did go in there to get primer wise was the soap and glory one heck of a block primer i do really like this and I absolutely love the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, but it's really expensive and it makes my heart hurt how expensive it is considering it's just a primer. But this is the second best primer that I have used and it is good. It does keep your makeup there, but if it's on for like literally AM to PM, it does tend to get a little bit patchy, but with powder, you're fine. Now, Primark. I have found some bloody awesome bits in Primark recently and it's become a little bit struggle not to buy everything but the thing that I am most excited for is a coat that I bought. Now if you follow me on my second Instagram because I do have two um, then you will have already seen this coat but this coat is so soft like I can't even get over how soft this is. It's um, faux fur lined all the way through, even inside the sleeves, but it has like this faux leather 
aviator style to it. I will do like a cutaway to me wearing it. But this coat is the snuggliest thing ever. Like, I love it. It's so nice. Like, it feels like I'm stroking my dog. <laughs> it's really soft and fluffy. Um, and this one was £30. Which, to be fair, for a jacket, I'm alright with paying that. Primark have the most amazing jumpers at the moment. Like, if you are looking for really autumnal, snuggly jumpers, then you really need to make a trip to Primark. Because I found this baby and I love it so much. Like, typically I wouldn't go for, like, a rust-coloured jumper. Like, that's not my thing. I'm all about burgundy. I think what I really like about it is the fact that it's, like, really thick, knitted, like, kind of old-fashioned-y type of jumper. You know what I mean? So I think this jumper was actually £10, which, for a jumper, is pretty good. Really happy with that. I've really been getting into chokers recently. You have like a regular sort of just black strappy one up here, one down here which has like a little, um, little gold, it kind of looks like a little gold taco, <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. Um, you have another sort of tattoo choker with a little triangle on, uh, another gold chain with a little pearl on it, a black sort of suede um, sort of choker and that has like a little triangle and then you have this one which is one of my favourites I think. It's very dainty. It's a thin black chain choker and then it's got like this little uh, gold thingamabob at the bottom. And it was only £3 for six chokers. Like, you can't really go wrong. So as well as awesome jumpers, Primark have also got in their candles, but it's their Christmas candles. So the ones that I picked up two of, which is... Um, uh, this one's called Winter Spice and it is just Christmas in a jar. It smells amazing. Like it kind of has like, this is going to sound so weird. You know like the smell of cranberry sauce, like that sort of sweet smell? Mix that in with like, I don't know, cinnamon or something like that. It's basically this candle. And the nice thing is they're only a pound and I did get two. <laughs> last candle I got from Primark is this one. It has a little Christmas tree. Like, just look at that little Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? Um, so this one is Jasmine and Spiced Woods and I have no idea how this smells. So, again, because I wanted to haul it and how do I get into you? Okay. How do you get this off? It's like, oh, okay. Okay, doesn't smell great. Not compared to the spice, the winter spice one anyway, but I don't know. I swear my nose is broken half the time because I can't actually smell things. I mainly bought this because I just want it to go on my shelf because I like the little Christmas trees. So I may not even burn this. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I did pop into New Look just to have a look and mainly because <laughs> this is really sad. When me and Tobes went to the um, woods with Luna, I spotted a girl with like a mustard jumper and I was like, oh my God, I need a mustard jumper in my life. I've never even liked the color mustard. Like, I don't know what's happening. Is it because I'm 24? I'm like, oh, like aging now? Um, so yeah, so I got this lovely mustard jumper and it just looks like that. Again, I will do a cutaway and it was 9.99, 9.99. And it is a little bit see-through, so you do need a cami underneath or just like a nude bra or something, which I don't really have, but never mind. So as well as the jumper, I did buy a mug and <sighs> guys, if you could see my mug cupboard, you'd probably scream at me that I don't need it, but I kind of do. It has an S on it. It's white and it's gold and it's dotty and it's like the typical bloggers mug so i had to have it i could not get it and it was 5.99 which really for a mug is expensive i suppose but it is huge i mean that's like compared to my head so last few bits i got in home sense now <sighs> guys we need to have a talk about home sense their halloween and christmas stuff they now have christmas stuff by the way um, I haven't had a proper look at the Christmas stuff, but the Halloween stuff is beyond 
amazing. So I have got a few bits and if you follow my uh, main Instagram you will have seen them um, and I'm planning to do like a little Halloween decor blog post as well once I actually stop buying Halloween decorations. <laughs> but the thing that I recently got this week is this skull <laughs> and not only does, is it white, I don't know if you can actually see, but it is marble. I have a marble skull with gold eyes. Uh, this was only $7.99. I bought candles. Um, I have a real problem with candles. Like, I apparently absolutely love burning my money. There is reasoning behind one of the candles. So I got this one, which smells very, like, orangey and I love spiced orange sort of scents like absolutely love them and this candle just smells amazing but the thing that I really love <laughs> and it's quite sad that I got this candle because of that it has my initials on it <laughs> so I kind of had to get it um this candle was 6 99 and I think it is completely worth it. I really like how it looks actually. And I think it would make quite a nice little pot because I never tend to just throw out my candle jars. Um, I do keep them and then reuse them for other little things. This one is a Himalayan sea salt candle and it is so fresh smelling, but it's salty. like. The only way I can describe this scent is clean salted caramel. Like that's the only way I can sort of describe it. Like you know that salty smell you get of salted caramel like chocolate or whatever? That's what in, is in this candle and I have already burnt it. And I've burnt it for quite a few hours actually. Um, I think this one can burn for 56 hours. I do want to talk about the lipsticks that you might have seen on my Instagram though. So I am in a influencer, uh, I don't know, program. Um, I will leave the links to the site and everything and you can sign up yourself if you're a blogger or a social influencer so you can get these things called Vox Boxes. So I got the one which was in collaboration with uh, Bourgeois. So I actually got 12 of their um, Rouge Velvet lipsticks. I have got swat a swatch on my Instagram of all these, but I will um, pop it here or something as well. Uh, I am a big lipstick person, like I've always loved lipsticks, but I always tend to go for the same shades, which are usually dark reds, uh, like pinky purpley sort of colours, but still quite dark, or the occasional light pink. But because I do have relatively dark lips, um, some lighter shades just look really weird and washed out on my lips and then it makes me end up looking like I'm dead. The other thing that I really like with these lipsticks is the fact that they are, they actually dry matte. But the thing that I've always struggled with matte lipsticks is that they either dry out my lips completely or they just... I don't know, as the day goes on it tends to wear in places instead of like evenly over the whole lips and then you get that sort of weird cracked look um these lipsticks don't actually do that so my absolute favorites are hey nude which is like a uh, orangey nudie color flaming rose which is a nice subtle pink um it's kind of like a your lips but better this one i can't actually say like at all it's like hip pink but it's like h-y-p-p -P, sort of like hip -p pink hip -p pink I'm probably butchering that. And this one is like the same. It's just like a really nice pinky tone, which is probably quite nice if you have uh, a slightly darker skin tone to mine. So yes, yeah, so the colour that I'm actually wearing right now is Hip Hip Pink. I absolutely love it. Like this is the one that I've worn most days. <laughs> um, I recently went to a wedding and I, I think she might be still subscribed to this so hi Anita how's it going this one actually lasted completely all day I was eating I was drinking I only had to do like a couple touch-ups but let's face it for a lipstick that's pretty good we have this one which is called bric-a-brac which is like a slightly darker pinky color um more on the red side I would say although on the camera it looks very pink brunette now this one is the darkest shade in the whole collection 
and it is just this gorgeous like deep red almost brown um shade i just realized that it's like, it's like right in the way i will be honest these ones are the ones that i haven't gone for as much so this one is called abracadabra and it's more of a coral sort of shade i think um not sure if you're gonna be able to see it properly um yeah but it's more of like a coral pink rather than a red um this one doesn't suit my skin tone all that well or at least i don't think it does but i've never been i've never really liked coral tones on myself i did not do french at school so some of these names are just ridiculous like i don't even know what they are um so <laughs> this one is a sort of fire truck red which is very very bright and it is very nice and it's certainly more of a summer shade rather than an autumn shade. This one, which is called Ruby's Cute, which is a slightly darker red than the one I just showed you. Um, but again, for me, it would be more of a summery shade. Then we have this one, which again is on the camera and it's really pink actually. That's weird. Um, it is definitely like a red yeah it's definitely more of a ready sort of tone um again something i would use i almost dropped red lipstick on my white carpet that would have been great these lighter red shades i always use in summer now these two are ones that i probably will not wear um so i am going to be giving these to my friend so this one is a purple <sighs> I am not brave enough to wear purple and on the camera it is just looking like a really deep red but in reality it is like this really cool ready purple shade and it is lovely do not get me wrong I just do not have the guts to actually rock this so Lou this is coming to you as well as this one because <laughs> I reckon you'll really like this one so this one is um, very formidable um, again, quite like a dark, ready sort of colour, just, mm, I have brunette and I really love that one, so I don't like to keep lipsticks that I'm not going to use. So the first six that I actually showed you are the ones that I will 100% use, like, just throughout the whole year. I do really love these lipsticks and it's even pushed me to the point where I kind of want to try their liquid uh, lipsticks as well. I have not been brave enough to use anything that has like a dofa applicator since I was, I don't know, about 15 using lip gloss. Let's just say 15 year old Sophie using lip gloss did not know when to stop. So that marks the end of my vlog. Um, I don't know, did you like it? Did you not like it? Like I'm completely okay with you saying how you felt about it. I do kind of want to do more vlogs but my life is nowhere near exciting really to do daily vlogging just like maybe doing the odd day or something like that but I do have Twitter I now have three Instagram accounts because I have one for my like main account like my more personal life and then I have Luna's Instagram yes I did make an Instagram for my dog please do not judge um, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you are new and you would like me to actually keep making videos please do subscribe, like this video, just let me know that, I don't know, you want me to keep going. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you very soon.